Okay, hello, Tom. Hi, Gennady. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. So we have another webinar today dedicated to... Backup and... Versions. versions. <laughs> yes, let's do the backups and versions so people are always worry about the backing up the stuff, right? Right. And well, it's important too. I mean, if you spend a lot of time working on, you know, content and layout and so forth, you don't want it to disappear. You know, if you have a glitch or, you know, yeah, just a, a lightning uh, strike. <laughs> talking about the backups, then there's a, we could, should have separated even the backup functionality on its own and just leave it just a backup alone. Create a separate app on the backup, let it be there, and you will see why, right? Yeah, it's very, it's, it's slick. It's like the backup is the sledgehammer. The version is the scalpel. So am I going <laughs> to bludgeon the whole thing in or am I going to surgically insert just one? How does that yeah. sound? Yeah. But like before you do icons. Huh? Icons? <laughs> like icon for backup could be a sledgehammer. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Now, before we start on this, and I'm going to share my screen, but before we do that, you want to mention about the, the next thing we're going to be working on? About oh, the yeah, events? the conference. Yes, not oh. the conference. It's event, event, event. Event, I'm sorry. Well, I'm, you know, we were talking about it, and to me, it's like going to a conference, but it's a multi-day event, and it's uh, focused solely on writing. It's, you know, it takes you well beyond you know, blogging and writing a book, yeah. but it goes through the entire process from research to publishing. To publishing. And Anyone everything in between. So, so yeah, just want to say a couple of words too. So it's, yeah. the event is coming up in June. So this event, there is no announcement yet. Uh, we're preparing, we're working on that. So we will have, this event will be for new the newbies, for the bloggers, for professional uh, for anyone who is uh, uh, will be in who is in the writing position or wants to write and wants to blog, uh, anything to do with the content, right? Exactly, and it's going to be a three day uh, three day event, uh, and it's very speakers. slick. I mean, you know, that's enough of a trailer or teaser. Yeah, so. over hundred speakers. Uh, over hundred speakers will be there. So we will break down in different uh, different uh, sessions. So it's going to be, we're going to talk more in details on the next uh, session. Right. Right? So people put their thinking hat on. We will, we can leak out this little bit about, we will be seeking contributors and various. Contributors and speakers. And uh, yeah. So stay tuned for more details. Yeah. Film at 11. <laughs> <laughs> in the next, yeah. In the next episode, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. So let's, let's go. Talk about, what do you want to do first? Versions or backups? Let's start with the backups. So Okay. We'll go alphabetically. Yeah. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay. Now, let me talk about the backups. Backups is an important um, uh, mechanism, it's an important function of any software, any Anywhere you go, any software has some kind of backup. So how we do manage the backups? No matter what, I have everything in my file resides on the cloud. So I always use the cloud. So I use the Dropbox. I use the OneDrive. So there's lots of stuff being held there. And actually, I don't even keep anything on my local drive at all. So nothing. There's everything being synced up there. So I know I have an access and I will have anything happen to my computer. It's not get lost, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, that... That took me a little getting used to because, you know, starting with an Apple IIe and then uh, <laughs> going from there, I was accustomed to having everything in my clutches. Yeah. You know? yeah. And now I've gotten more comfortable with uh, not having as much in my clutches. <laughs> I tell you, a uh, few times I lost everything I had on my uh, laptop. After that, I decided nothing, nothing. I will keep on my local drive, nothing. So everything now, the, all the drive I'm working with is a Google Drive, is a, whether it's a Dropbox or OneDrive. Those three yeah. probably top one, top, top, top three of all, right? So you can keep, everything is syncing. So there's nothing being, if I get low, something gets crushed, no matter, I have my content. I have. That's it. right. Although so, Microsoft messed up my billing 
And then I started getting these because I've got Office 365 and the OneDrive and everything is there. And I get this note, oh, you are now over your 200 megabyte limit and we're gonna start dumping stuff. I said, what? Yeah, and it yeah. took me five days to find the right person to fix it. And in the meantime, I was trying to download like, yeah. you know, a hundred <laughs> gigabytes of stuff. <laughs> you probably mentioned it's not megabyte. It's megabyte was when the DOS was there, but now- Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I had a, I had two gigabytes there. Gigabytes. I was well over that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you know what the people do when they have a content on the websites in the WordPress, right? Right. You know what they do? They come up with their, they searching for plugins. So the one thing is this for sure, you have to have a backup of your blog posts in the WordPress. So for that, there is a, uh, there is a different mechanism people using. They get, they buy plugins. They set up some kind of services that they sync in services. Then uh, plugins uh, some, is not the best solution, but there are some of them out there, actually quite a bit. Then you can pay for the service of backing up your stuff so you can have uh, you could have your content safe. OK, the last I would worry about, say, your, my homepage. OK, even though my homepage is also I want to protect it. But the right. most important is your content. You spend hours and hours of writing articles, creating the original content. You pay for that. You pay to other people. And then what? One day, if something happened, you lose it and it's going to be you feel sorry. So no matter what, yeah. and, and you, you always, you know, what we always do is say, oh, I do that later, but I know it's a kind of a task. I need to do it later. And then all of a sudden, when that happened, you realize I, I should have done it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Pennywise, Pen no, I, I was trying to come up with a fun uh, saying. But let's move on and explain. Yeah, let's I'll move on. You remember saying remember later. Write it down, write it. You know, we, we're getting old, Tom. So, <laughs> oh, you thinking. know what? I did hear this. This is interesting. It's not that your mind is slowing down. It's that you have so much more to process. Exactly. Exactly. That's what. That's why I feel sometimes I'm getting so smart. Yeah, I, I have to go through many more uh interesting facts before i get to the one i want <laughs> but but the problem is getting smart is a problem you keep forgetting stuff that you should have remember all the time right yeah that's true <laughs> i need a backup on the cloud <laughs> but i wish i could put my brain in the backup on the that's cloud. right i think there's science fiction on that <laughs> <laughs> you should have write a book about that right Tom? I am. hey i'll do that yeah hey, it's back a good myself topic. it's a good subject tom remember yeah. write it there put your note there Put the idea in blackly, write in the book about the putting the mind on a cloud. How yeah, <laughs> I think there's uh yeah, we could put our own unique spin on it, but that's a topic for another time. So uh, save that, <laughs> save that. So let's yeah. uh, don't throw all the topics at once. <laughs> well, we got to keep people coming back. <laughs> oh, so how about uh, you're going to look at um, backups? Yes, we're going to look in the backups. So now one thing I can tell. So back up, you write an article in the blogly, you prepare, you spend all the time. Don't worry. First of all, we do have our backups. It's a building. The second thing, your backup, I mean, your article that you publish on the WordPress, the blogly itself is a backup on its own. So no matter what, you got your, your WordPress there. It's already saved in the WordPress and you have a reverse process as well. You bring the article in. We also have that. So if it needed, you can always take it from the WordPress, but your primary backup source is not, should not be the WordPress. It should right. be the app that works with the WordPress, that publishes to WordPress, and the, the place where you generate the content, it should be your primary source for managing all your backups. Okay? All right, let's do that. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now let's let's do this. Let's bring the article directly from. Let's say it's assume I got the article from the WordPress with that not yet a part of my account in Blogly. So I wrote it this say earlier. Now I got the brand new account in Blogly, and I want to bring it in. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Let's take. I have some. I say. Let's say I'm. I have some article. Let's take. Said we take some SEO. Uh, for optimization, I'm gonna pick up the any site. So let's take this site, any of the sites there. 
let's say this word word stream article let's open it up let's assume this is my article right okay. and then i want to bring it in so all i need to do just let's take this url we go in here and we're going to import it we choose the blog url you just simply paste the url and click ok now in a matter of like uh two three seconds a few seconds we're gonna bring the content so you got it so what it took about the maybe i was wrong four seconds i'm sorry i think it was uh 4.75 <laughs> <laughs> all right the content is now here now we brought the content let's look it up so it's not that, that big of the article but let's take a look what is there so we got the, all the content with the one images with all the information that was there so now we we have it right right so let's do this today we have the backups building in the i mean in the blogly so but you want to do that your own backup of this article and let's assume this article you already wrote let's say you have it now you will have the backup it sits in assets if you could pull up here you will get in the blank page of the backups you got one right. button here save once you click on save uh we will generate the copy of your backup now so, is that automatic uh you know versions we'll talk about a little bit more which are uh automatic this yeah versions are yeah versions are automatic uh uh automatic backups oh, uh, versions are the automatic backup we have auto versions of the block block post right uh, so what we have is uh, now the copy of the whole backup of the article. And by the way, in the future, we are planning to introduce the automated backup here of every article, even though the, the Blogly itself is a backup for your WordPress, no matter right. what. Now you want to have a backup of the backup. Great. Oh, suspenders for my belt. <laughs> 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 yeah yeah and then velcro too i want velcro to uh, in case those other two fail <laughs> so let's do the backup for the backup yeah we're thinking about maybe we can run like a backup of the always after backup of the whole article can it be done yeah we can we can just simply tune it in the auto auto backup but this case we give you just like manual backup if you want to just click it once save save for all just one right. click and you're done it's saved let's do the example let's say i'm back in the article and now I want to make some changes, say whatever I want to save. Maybe I can remove uh, some of the text here. So let me make it smaller. Maybe I can just add something here. And let me just highlight so it will be visible, right? So we highlight it. It's going to be sitting here. Uh, and we're going to add some maybe uh, some GIFs. Let's add some. Let's throw, so throw some fun. Maybe we can add some of the GIFs here. And they say fun, right? Let's add some. Yeah. Fun. Let's add oh, this. oh, there's the pig. I love the pig. Yeah, let's add some piggy here. So we'll throw some fun. We added in here. Let's make it bigger slightly. So we'll make it uh, say like uh, say 400 by 400 uh, pixel size. Here's a piggy. Let's save it. <laughs> let's move, in, move on. Now let's do another backup quickly. So let's do the another backup just in case. So I have two sets of backups, and uh, I will restore from one of the sets. So when I click save again, it generates me the second backup. As you can see, each back backup contains the date and the timestamp of the backup. It has the name, not name of the article itself, because if we took the article from uh, outside, so that wasn't right. a part of the blog list. So we just in, uh, brought in by uh, by import function. Okay. When you click on this, you can see the additional data. You can edit it. So what you can edit. First of all, you can edit the name. So you want to change the name, fine, it's up to you. Um, also, what you can do is, of course, you can delete. So here is you cannot manage like details of the backup. This is right. a just one simple backup, one file. In the future, we will incorporate syncing of those files to the drives. Like you want to sync it to the Google Drive. Oh, that's cool. Automatically sync. But if it doesn't sync, let's say if I do, if I... Uh, if, if this article would have been printed, it will have an additional option right here. Let's say if I publish, if it's my published article, I have another option here like download. It will download you the HTML file. You can just oh, okay. say HTML file. Cool. 
Yeah, but now you remember we have the delete function. If you made an extra that you want to delete, uh, then you can just delete the extra. So if you don't need it. Now you can see we modify the article. Also, let's do this. Uh, we're going to uh, delete some of the other blocks. Let's say if I want to delete the block, can I delete it? Of course I can. So this block is deleted. You can see now it's gone. Let right. me delete another one. Uh, actually, let me just do one more backup quickly here. So just in case I have three different sets of backups. Now we're doing the Velcro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Vel I'll just simply show that, that how that can be restored. So let's go back here and now let's do some extra. So we, I'm going to delete this one as well. And let me delete one more. So I'm delete. I will delete this one, right? So you can see article keeps shrinking. So I got only two blocks all I need. Now let's do some restoration. Right. So I have a new restoration. And when I see here, I have three different sets of backup. Each backup is slightly different. This is the original backup. This is the backup. We just added something. Right. Right. And this is the backup where we just reduce something and add it to reduce something. So all of them are slightly different. So let's do the backup from the latest one. So let's do the last one. When I click here, can I do this uh, backup from here? No, I don't click here. I need to click right here. So when I click here, it asks me, do I want to restore it? Let's say I say, okay, yes. And now let's see what's going to change. It says backup restore. It gives me the message. So let me just refresh the page and we'll see what was there done. So you can see now yeah. all blocks are back. You can see the piggyback. Uh, no, they got the exact zip, uh, whatever we had before. Let's go now and restore to the original version uh, without the piggy, right? Right. Let's do this. We're going to click on the, this one by timing. This was the one. And I can even save that here. And if we could just save this, was the original. So I could just name that like that. So you can see now additional comments. Yeah, that's nice. And that is very helpful, actually. Yeah, so yeah you want to name it, it the one, right? Yeah. So let's restore the original one. We click OK. And now let's see. It's going to take like a couple of seconds, right? Backup is restored. Let's refresh the page. Let's take a look what is there. Now you can see all the five blocks are there. No more piggy. No. Oh. Pristine, <laughs> right? Yep. Back to uh, its native state. Yeah. Let's go back now one more. Let's restore it to the medium. This one, right? So right. I mean, here, restore. Uh, wait for like one, two, three, three seconds, right? So yep. we're done. I'll go back in the article again and let's refresh it and let's see what is there. I think that piggy should be now in. Yeah, we, uh, I think that was there he is or yeah. he or she or it or whatever. <laughs> so you can imagine now you got your backup. And by the way, this backups from here, just my warning here is big backups. We going to move from here because the assets will be replaced with the pure, more extended research here. Okay. We will mo move the back up here. It makes more sense to be on the upper right. So we just kind of hide it here, OK? So this is about backup. So this is a backup right. of the whole article. Now let's do another thing is we're going to show what the versions are. So what is the version? What do you think, Tom? How, the ta how you would describe the version? Well, a version is. Uh, and I learned this the hard way once I started writing and doing uh, other things is, all right, I'm going to write my draft and I'll send it in. And so that's version one. And somebody says, oh, I want you to change this. OK, the past I made the mistake of actually throwing away version one and doing version two. And then you get the question, oh, well, you know what? We like what you did before. Let's go back to that. <laughs> so this is a version and the, the respect that we're talking about here is not the entire article, but chunks of your article that. Now, uh, if, if you notice while you were talking and I will give a little more description of the yeah. version while you were talking, this is the auto auto backup. We have now just do not worry every time you do something, even if you don't save. We actually have a running 30 second delay and we capture your changes to the content and we'll create auto backup, which will follow you all the time when you run it, when you type in the article or you type in the 
the content you keep adding the content let me show you here if i add there something add it here here right right so let's leave it like that you will see now this uh, uh, this version will be updated in the next like minute or so we can get in back again you will see this will be updated right now still you see it's still sitting like that you can actually test it yourself and see how that works right now let me give my explanation of the version first of all i stumbled on this just because i was remember we were writing some email doing email marketing right. writing different versions of the email right right you know how many versions we had oh lord what was it 20 <laughs> <laughs> 20 versions saying the same thing 20 times 20 different yeah. ways right did we yeah. want to grab other versions no i didn't want i want to keep them but a slight tweak in expression in your content because your content is like can be golden if you say with a good wording right right but how do you know what's good so sometimes you don't you don't know oh maybe i save this i'm gonna test i want to find out what is better to say how the better to say something now before i do this let me go back in the version let's go take a look at see yeah. this oh it caught up yeah yeah see this one we added here you can see it's it's kitchen up by itself so just remember we're running 30 second delay we keep keep your content going the your back of your content in a detail level of your block remember that versions are the block version right block now, level content is, so that's the scapel part yeah so we, yeah now this is uh, what i was showing this is auto backup but that's kind of derivative that is a uh, part of your overall backup strategy we have uh, a dedicated version for a specific function you can create as many backups as you need just by simply clicking here you can create uh, you modify keep modifying your content you make some changes you do whatever you need to do uh you you changed it you like that version click save you saved it it remains here for your next time when you uh keep updating you want to refresh it and restore that version so the versioning is a mini backups on the level of each block right also and then if you decide you like your first one better you can replace it by the same the same way you would the uh the backup you just click the restore button and away you go yeah now watch i saved three different versions so each version let's say i save this version i save this version and i save the, the original version so all the right. three different now what the advantage is also beyond of having this because remember auto backup is this just a single block which is definitely generated by our system those backups a mini backup we call version mini backup, generated by you you can create right. as many as you want you can delete them even if you delete this one we'll keep creating the new backups <laughs> on the come same. Back. we will still we'll come back we'll still creating the automated backup of your current version. you can see now it's already changed to this one but right but whatever i had before i save that and stays and it doesn't change it remains the same exactly in pristine version as you say with at that time can and you that's make important too it's an important point for people to remember is that if you're relying on uh, you really should make a version save a version of pretty much everything every time you make a significant change if you do the change it. yeah if you do the change that is important right right yeah then save a copy because it gets it could potentially be overwritten uh you know like okay i'm gonna rip that out oh no i want that back and now it's overwritten so it's just good practice to exactly. make frequent backups of yeah your, of your no work. no no it's like if you don't want to say you don't want to clog up the system with uh, like hundreds of different backups of the one one single block that's not the point the point is you save significant uh, yeah. changes that you want to keep that's important like we work on the email this email marketing is really hard because we come up with 20 different combination of the same email and those combination all of them are decent but i'm not sure yet which one i'm going to pick what do you do today you save it in the google doc 
you do a Google Doc with the 20 different versions, just one email. Okay, maybe <laughs> one time is okay, but that's not sustainable. That's not, are you going to go back and you're like a million of different uh, Google Doc file, try to find what you wrote before for one specific? No, you're not going to do that. That's not physically possible. Even though you create maybe one backup for one email and then you do the 20 versions there, how are you going to quickly change with that's a, in a, very difficult. So in this yes, case, it is. in this case, it's so convenient. It's it's next to you. It's right here. It's right under your fingertips. So you can expand. You can. By the way, what you can do with the already saved data? First of all, you change the name. You say maybe there was a special, right? Special okay. version uh, that I want to use somewhere for who knows maybe that that's, yeah, something that's good that, i like that yeah. yeah specifically important to you just save it there so you know exactly this version you don't want to delete it's there that for you to reuse somewhere again what else you can, can you do okay look at look on the bottom you have block related article related here is your cheek switch to article related you could see every block every blocks that uh, relate on the article level all the versions i will be visible here Oh, very cool. Specifically, specifically, we didn't want to do all because you're going to be swamped with. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> however, I, I agree. <laughs> however, there is a workaround. If you have this block saved as a version, uh, you can uh, turn it into note uh, by uh, simply, say, taking this content. Let's say if you create a note, notes are visible everywhere. So notes, I have this ability of finding them all. You can, right. uh, if you do this and convert this a uh, version into the special note, you, it's found. Uh, you can find it anywhere. You can tag it. But let's say for some reason your versions are if this special versions. You have many, many of them. Could be if you are on the article level, you might have ten versions, say for each block. And let's right. say if you want to see them all, you can see them right here. You can take this and restore the other blocks in the same article. Let's say if I want to do that here, after if I click here, it will replace. So let's do this some experiment. I want to show you. So currently I have this one. This is the one here saved. This one is the right. previously saved. Let's do the quick restore. How about this? So with one click, you just simply restore that. Let me do this back. I'm clicking here. I'm restoring this one. And let's say I want to do this one. I'm clicking here. I say restore that one. So you have a full uh, ability of us uh, uh, quickly putting back any of the versions that you have on the left. That's great. All right, Tom. So this is it. Uh, I think we covered pretty much yeah. right on the on the notes, right? I mean, on the versions. Yeah, do we have enough information? Essential uh, to writing. You do have to back. You know, if you're writing everything on the pen and paper, you're not watching this, but you do want to save uh, frequently. So, all right. Well, that sounds great. Yeah. Let's uh, bid our audience adieu. And uh, <laughs> I think that's, uh, other than Eiffel Tower, that's one of the few French words I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and yeah. check out French friends. They, uh, Jeep is coming out with uh, a Macintosh stereo option. Saw this today on Uncrate, which is one of my favorite sites. If you're familiar with Macintosh, they're very high end. Mm -hmm. uh, usually uh, uh, they're all tube. I didn't have a chance to read the article, so I don't know if this is a tube receiver, but you've got these two mammoth readouts, you know, the balance, these big glaring uh, displays right there in the middle of your dashboard as you're crunching out your music. You can s watch the old analog gauges go back and forth. I'm sure that's spendy. <laughs> yeah, and uh, wonder how long that would stay in your truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well. All right, Tom. Um, very good, as always. I hope you have a nice evening. Yeah, thank you, you too. And I'm going to, hopefully that will help people to understand the really see the difference and what's the backup and what's the version and why backup is important. That's one thing that I learned over the years. Backups are hugely important. Just a backup. It is. I mean, power supplies or and laptops, you know, even though you've got a battery in that thing, 
you can still have a hard drive failure. So backing it up is always a good idea. Yeah, but versioning is a, is a and, and so is versioning too. Yeah. It's a by itself is a different thing, so they need to recognize the difference. Excellent. All right, All right Tom. Thank you Bye. very much, and I think we're done, right? We are done. Okay. <laughs> Take care. All right. Good night.